Hi, my name is DJ and I am the founder and executive director of Catsbury Park. Around 2013, I heard about a thing called a cat cafe. I didn't know what it was or anything about it, but I had just kind of found my new love for cats. So I thought that it was definitely something I needed to check out. Um, I went out there, visited it, fell in love with what they did, and just knew at that moment that it was something that needed to happen in Asbury Park. So ultimately, I loved the idea of having a place that people could go hang out with cats. I mean, that just seemed amazing. On a Saturday, nothing else to do, go hang out with cats. It seemed great, but then, the more I looked into it, the more I realized that there was a rescue element to it and the cats were available for adoption and they were not only providing a space that was fun for people, but they were saving lives while doing that. It just really drove home the fact of like, this is something I want to try and do and bring it to New Jersey. Catsbury Park Inc. started in July of 2016. It was a small nonprofit that I was running out of my house. We eventually opened the cafe in September of 2017, so about a year later. You would never, on a Saturday afternoon, have nothing to do and decide, I'm gonna to go to the shelter for fun. It's not a fun experience to see 100 cats in cages and crates all lined up. Most people don't get any joy out of that, but you know, we try and provide a space where you can get joy and spend time with cats, as well as maybe learn some things about some of the issues that face cats and how you can help or meet your new best friend and leave with them. We have a very high adoption rate of people that came in with no intention of adopting and then wound up just meeting the perfect cat. Where I don't think a lot of shelters have that because, like I said, people don't go to shelters as a leisurely activity. If you walk into a shelter, chances are you walked in with the intention of adopting. We really pride ourselves on staying connected to our adopters, to people that adopt and being a resource for them, whatever that may be. You know, if that's getting a second cat and how to integrate it or behavioral issues, we work with, you know, a couple different veterinarians and we work with a pet psychologist and, and all those sort of things. So, you know, people who have adopted to us and cat is not adjusting well or is having litter box issues or whatever it may be, you know, if we don't have the answer, we like to be able to send people to the people that we trust and work with that we think may have the answer. So, you know, we really pride ourselves on that. It's not, you adopt a cat and see you later and we never talk to you again. So our door is always open, as you know, we like to say. Yeah.